So recently I've had a client come to me and basically ask, can they have all of the photos from the photo shoot? Now it is something I do offer, but obviously there are all raw photos as I shoot in raw and they didn't want the raw photos because of the size of the files. So how do you convert raw photos into JPEG? Well, I thought it was gonna be quite a complicated procedure, but it turns out to be really, really simple and basically built into Photoshop. Today I'll make a quick video on explaining how you can convert all of your raw photos into JPEG photos using Photoshop scripts. And I'm gonna start right now. Right guys, so the very first thing you want to do is go ahead and create a folder with all of the raw photos that you want to convert to JPEG. So I've got basically 1.0 selected here that you can see if I go ahead and open that up, I've got 14 raw photos and they're different types of raw photos because I was shooting on different cameras. So the DNGs are Sony files and CR3 are Canon files. So if you're wondering if it only works with certain raws, as long as it opens up in Photoshop, this particular program should work. Right, right, so we've got our folder here. Let's go ahead and down to Photoshop. So let's go ahead, open up Photoshop. And what you want to do is go from File, go all the way down to Scripts, and then you want to go to Image Processor. Now, a new file window should open up. Basically, it's split into four sections. The very first section is what folder do you want to convert? So what fo raw files are you converting? So let's go ahead and select that first. So we've got this select folder button here. Let's go ahead and select that. And let's go ahead and choose 1.0 selected. So these are our raw files. So let's go ahead and click open. Section two is where is your ending folder. So where are the JPEGs going to be saved? So this is obviously going to be on our other folder. So we've got 1.0 JPEGs and that is where we're going to say we've got our raw files here and that's where we want our JPEGs to end up in our batch process. So let's go ahead and click open. Number three is file type. So you can save it as a PSD, a TIFF or a JPEG and you can save it in different types of JPEG like the quality for example. So we've got file type here. I'm going to go ahead and select save as JPEG. You've got the quality which obviously goes from 1 to 12. So 1 is very very small, very compact compressed and 12 is very uncompressed so it's the best file type possible. I'm going to go roughly in the middle so I'm going to go ahead and choose 5 and if you want to you can also resize to fit a certain height and width. Now if you see if you've just shot in landscape or just shot in portrait you can reduce them to a specific size which is quite handy but I'm not going to do that in this particular case. And then number four here is you can run an additional action while doing this. So an action is a, a series of programs that a Photoshop will, what Photoshop can do. So if you want to make it more saturated, add an adjustment layer, you can do that within an action but you do need to have an action already made. So I'm not going to be doing that in this particular tutorial. So once you've done all of that, all you need to do is go ahead and click run. So I'm going to go ahead and start it now. Now, depending on the speed of your computer, depending on how many photos you've got and depending on the size of your raw file or depending on how long this takes. Around about a thousand photos, in my opinion, will take around about two hours. But if you've got a new MacBook Pro or you've got a new Mac Studio, this is going to be way quicker. So just going to go ahead and pause this video now and wait until it's finished because this may take a while. One eternity later. Okay, so once it's done, it will just basically open up in the main page of Photoshop. So let's go ahead and just close Photoshop for the moment and let's go to our 1.0 JPEGs. Now you've got a folder in here called JPEGs. Weirdly, it just creates an additional folder in a folder. It's a little bit annoying, but you can just basically delete this folder afterwards. Go ahead in that folder and as you can see, it has got all of our 14 raw photos converted into JPEGs. And you can see the file size is quite small. They're not obviously the same dimensions as the raw photo, but as you can see the actual megabyte size is quite dramatically smaller. So as you can see, obviously there's no editing to these. These are completely raw photos. And as you can see, a fairly quick and easy process. I originally thought you had to create an action and it would take absolutely ages, but basically built into Photoshop is a way to convert all your raw photos into JPEGs, basically just using your image processor. It's really easy. So go give it a go and hopefully it will work for you.